I hope you haven't been slacking on the dance floor lately, because Rockstar finally has uh, released an official word about what is going to be Nightlife DLC, or Nightclub DLC, or however you want to call it. Uh, they basically go over a few things, saying that it's going to get a major upgrade, which basically means it's going to be a big DLC. The way to describe it is that nightclubs are a perfect cover for any other operation you might get going. So get in on the ground level as a business partner to open a brand new establishment and help DJs make their shows the best ever. And run your nightclub business from setup, design, staffing and promotion. The more popular your club, the faster your secure wall will fill up. Management is honest work, a tidy way to keep income from your more seedy ventures with disruption logistics, the open roads, Securo Surf, and free trade shipping co. Looking clean as fresh laundry. Stay tuned for more details, including how to get on the guest list and your exclusive rewards. The first thing I have to go over is that for those wondering what those disruption logistics, etc., are, uh, those are your businesses that are currently in the game. So, what this is saying to me is that this might actually be. The thing that Yan was talking about a while ago, which I'll pull up on screen as well, where all the businesses are going to work together alongside of, I guess now, nightclub DLC, uh, which does make a sense from a narrative perspective, I suppose, because you can have that to be your front for whatever you got going on, let's say, for example, bunkers or whatever. So it's turning out to be something that is definitely piquing my interest and could be a very, very big DLC. And especially if you are able to use existing businesses already, you'll get those that you haven't been using for a little while. Let's say, for example, your cocaine business hasn't been doing anything for the past year. Now you actually have a reason to open it up again and actually start using it again. Typically, they're just passive income. You don't really do much with it. So hopefully stuff like a bunker and the cocaine business are going to be brought into a new life where you're going to be able to do other things with. And the part where they say exclusive rewards, I'm hoping that they're going to be having another focus on being able to unlock things as you play, more rewards, and not just simply, hey, just go sit there in a corner somewhere and wait until the money generates for you. So this DLC is sounding pretty massive. Being able to use a nightclub as a front for all your dirty laundry, I guess you want to call it, is something that is simply brilliant and will definitely give a great closing end to what has been almost five years of GTA Online DLC. I know there's going to be more DLC after Red Dead comes out, but I think as a closer of like, hey, this is one last giant hurrah before we move on to some, some Western cowboys and all that stuff. This DLC looks to me like it's going to be absolutely massive. It's coming out in July. They don't have a precise date for it, but for what we, I guess, know and think and see and all that stuff, it's more than likely going to be the second Tuesday of July, which is typically when they uh, release DLCs, really. I think they're probably still uh, working on it, so they can't give a solid date just yet. Uh, so don't hold me on to that. Obviously, they haven't confirmed anything. I don't know anything. But anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all. Later. Yeah.